at any slight inconvenience your go-to is to borrow money from somebody is it when i'm old that i should be enjoying no no i forget about my future my future will worry about itself not everybody's going to be rich in this world <laughs> to make your life look like you have it all figured out it basically help you get your money back so you're not doing anything do you understand you don't have any money but you're debt free you're richer than somebody that has money in their bank accounts but they they are only 10,000 people trust me you're richer than that person so don't worry about it Welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is sarah i'm a legal space youtuber and i make lifestyle and business related videos so if that sounds like something that you are interested in make sure you click the subscribe button trust me you're going to love my videos here yeah trust me and if you're returning thank you so so much for coming back it means the world to me you guys know that i usually make business related videos and i decided to spice it up a bit and you know switch things a bit i don't think we have even made a business related video this year have we? Even if we had, I think it's like only one video, which is crazy. <laughs> Messing it up by adding like finance related videos. We're basically going to be talking about money more, how you can grow your money, how you can invest your money and all of that. So yeah, if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Click, click the bell like button beside the subscribe just so YouTube can tell you every time that I upload. Cause YouTube be tripping sometimes. Yeah. So today's video is reasons why you are broke i don't know how many reasons we're going to be listing i think i have seven here no. we're going to be talking about seven reasons why you're always broke or you always feel broke or you always feel like you don't have money we're also going to be talking about a few ways that we can get out of that space so yeah let's get right into this video just a disclaimer i am not an expert when it comes to money i didn't study anything money related but then i got to a point in my life where i wanted to basically level up my money habits my financial habits and i started learning about money and i am still in the process of learning this is basically me just sharing what i have learned and tips that have helped me in my journey to financial freedom and financial success you're not obligated to follow any of these steps of course this is just me sharing what has helped me and what is still helping me so yeah yeah i just wanted to get that out of the way yeah it is everybody's goal to reach a certain level of financial freedom to get to financial success of course that is even my goal i believe that's a common goal that we all have there might be some things that you're doing that are hindering you from getting to financial freedom or financial success some of these things we do them but then we don't even know that these things are setbacks that prevent us from getting to our financial goal so i'm just going to be listing some of this and then after that we're going to be talking about ways we can get ourselves out of this space i feel like it's, it's never too late to learn it's never too late to make adjustments i just recently not recently recently that but like also started my own like serious serious financial journey and honestly i can say that i have seen a big difference a big growth and it's just different when you're more self-aware about these things just a disclaimer i feel like you can be broke for good reason because a lot of people are going through different things so you can be broke because you probably have a health issue or somebody in your family has a health issue that you constantly have to spend money on i feel like that's different that's absolutely different and understandable those are like temporary things that by god's grace will come to pass of course we don't plan for things to happen in life it's possible something bad happens to you and you have to spend all your money on it or you constantly have to spend money on it like that is different from the point i'm talking about so i just want to put that out there so the first reason why you probably always feel broke is because you have no source of income. I learned this tip a few years ago and it says like every person should have three sources of income. One that you love to do, which is like a hobby. One that makes you money while you're asleep. The last one should be like your job or I think something like that. Trust me, I just kept that at the back of my head. That makes you money while you're sleeping. Something like YouTube. You can be sleeping and somebody is watching your video in another part of the world that can also be an online business and one that is a hobby something you love to do youtube can also be something you love to do before it becomes a business <laughs> yeah so that's just by the way i feel like if you do not have a source of income of course you're always going to feel broke if you constantly rely on people asking people for money or that is one of the obvious reasons why you always feel broke so the first reason is because you probably do not have a source of income second reason why you always feel broke is because you do not have financial 
goals even if you have a job or you're earning money you're just you're literally just winging it you're living life every day as it comes and any money that you get you don't even have a plan for it you're just spending money on wants sometimes instead of needs and by the time you're ready to spend money on needs you find out that you don't even have any money if you work maybe a nine to five or you have a business or you pay yourself or you have a job like you too whatever it is you do I feel like as far as you have money coming in you should have a plan for how you spend the money of course there are things that come up and you don't even plan for them and you have to spend money on that I feel like you should have a separate budget for that you have no financial goals you're literally just winging it and to receive money you're just spending it at the end of the day what happens when you have this habit is that you find yourself spending money on things that you do not even plan for or things you do not even need things you just want and when it's time for you to actually spend money on your needs you don't have anything the reason why you always feel broke or you're always broke is because you like to borrow money you're always in debt you're always borrowing money for everything and at any slight inconvenience your go-to is to borrow money from somebody I feel like that's a very bad habit you're in a situation whereby um, you tend to, during the month you tend to borrow money from people you want to buy this or you see this thing that you want to buy that is not even a need is a want and you borrow money from this person to buy it you borrow money from this borrow money and by the end of the month you find out that when you get paid you have to use your whole salary to pay people back and then you're left with nothing once you've paid everybody off you're left with nothing for the ne next month and then you have no other option than to borrow from people again and then it keeps on happening and it's like a circle it keeps on happening 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 at the end of the day you find out that this is kind of like a lifestyle as far as it is not a necessity or it is not a pressing need i feel like debt or borrowing money from somebody should be like your last option you know, the thing with debt is that there is good debt and there's bad debt good debt is like debt that you have a plan for and you know how you're going to pay that debt that's debt in business you have a business that you're sure of you've started that business and you know plan you just don't have like more money to grow you need more money to buy some machines that will make work faster for you so that you can produce more because maybe you have high demand but low supply so you need to like take a loan buy maybe machines or something to make your work faster so you can deliver more which is more money so that is reasonable loan no loan that you collect because you want to buy a new bag that you saw or loan that you basically collect to buy a want that's that's bad debt or loan whatever that's bad debt i don't know about you guys but me personally i don't like anything debt anything that is going to put me or make somebody's money to be with me counts me out it, a reason that is related to borrowing money is that you always like to lend people money because people know that you have money and you don't know how to say no everybody that asks you oh please can you borrow me 5k can you borrow me 2k you're just like take 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 at the end of the day you're left with nothing and then you're broke Speaking of which, this video is not sponsored, but then I just want to talk about an app that I learned about a few weeks ago. This app is called Sikamo. So basically what this app does is that it helps you to lend people money and you can also borrow money. So what happens is that if you're somebody that has problem with paying debt when it's due, or if you're somebody that tends to lend people money and you don't know how to ask for your money, you're one of those people that ah, man, I don't know how to ask people for money, or it's really awkward. If you're one of those people, don't worry, this app is for you. So basically what this app does is that this app you can lend your friends money if you ask you oh i need urgent 2k or i need 5k just tell them oh like download sikamo app and it literally takes minutes it's not going to take long you can give them the money on that app you basically set a date if they say they are going to pay you on the first of august you set it to first of august seven days before then it's going to remind them that oh sarah's money is with you you need to pay sarah back her money in the next seven days two days oh you need to pay sarah back her money next two days so the person can't doesn't even have any excuse and they also have a feature where like it basically help you get your money back so you're not doing anything do you understand if you're a business owner if you're trying to start a business or you need capital for your business they, they can also borrow money starting price is 500,000 to I don't know 50 million or 10 million I don't know <laughs> yeah I'm going to leave a link below so if you want to join you can like use my referral code and all of that so yeah um, you can use that app people that are always asking for money like they should join that app and ask you for money through that app so you know that you're getting your money you give personal loans like if you want to get a loan they give personal loans and 
I think starting price is 100,000. There has to be like proof that you have a stable source of income. If you want business loan to, your business needs to be registered and then your bank statements that will show like how much you're eligible to collect all of that. So yeah, that's by the way. Like I said, our third point is that you like to borrow money from people or you like to give people money too much. Yeah, you need to learn to say no, honestly. Like, especially when it is depriving you of your own needs, you need to say no. And download Sikamo, it'll help you a lot. So the next reason why you're probably always, always broke is because you have bad spending habits. <laughs> this is one that I struggled with so much. Yeah, I had to like put myself in order and you know, get my shit together. Bad spending habits, you don't have plans or even if you have plans, that could be that you're probably an impulsive buyer or this retail therapy for you, retail therapy. I literally hate it when I hear people say, oh, sacrifice your enjoyment in your youth just so that you can enjoy later. Is it when I'm old that I should be enjoying? No, no, I don't think so. There are people that literally had fun in their young days and are rich right now. I feel all you need to do is just strike a balance, strike a balance, balance. It's not every Friday night that you have to go out. It's not every day that you have to go out. Well, except you can afford it. Even if you can't afford it, I mean, don't go out. It's not every time you need to eat out. No. Of course, once in a while, it's good to, you know, reward yourself when you do something nice. Or once in a while, it's just good to spend money. But you should have a balance. When you're constantly doing that, you're, you know, what's, what's that meme of um, forget about my future, my future will worry about itself. Okay, I hope we're all just catching crews. I, I really hope that we're all just catching crews because that is not the way to live. Impulsive spending, if you know that you have a bad habit of maybe buying perfumes, <laughs> maybe you should follow less perfume pages or you have a bad habit of just like buying stuff that you do not need, maybe you should not follow not go to the mall as often especially when you don't need to if that will help you control yourself just don't put yourself in situations where you know you have to spend money impulsively it's okay to say oh if your friends want to go out it's okay to go out with your friends but then if it's not convenient for you you know that you're trying to get to certain financial goals it's okay to say oh i can't afford it you don't even know if somebody will say oh you don't need to spend your money just come you don't know that the truth is that if you want to spend more if you're somebody that loves to spend more money like like you're rich maybe you should try and get more sources of income that would kind of justify it so you know that you can spend as much as you want when you have more money coming in the next reason which i see so much on nigerian social media is because you're trying to impress somebody that you probably don't don't like or somebody that you don't know trust me nine out of ten times they don't care they don't care because what's going to happen is that okay you bought this expensive bag and you bought it to show off or you bought it because everybody on instagram has it what's going to happen is that they're going to scroll and look at your bag oh this bag is nice like it and go and then you, you're left there you're broke use your last card to buy bag for the gram <laughs> or to pepper them or to pepper somebody meanwhile your basic needs are not even met that's not my business but Trying to keep up with the Joneses to make your life look like you have it all figured out and you're living above your means. I don't know how I feel about people saying live below your means. I don't know how I feel about that, but I just feel like you should just cut your coat according to your size, basically. Cut your coat according to your size. I fake it till you make it. Some people, it works for them, especially if you're good at farming. But if you know that you don't have a plan for that, if you don't want it to end in tears, I feel like just baby calm down because nine out of ten times honestly these people that you're trying to impress they don't care they don't care do you know that you can actually live this soft life that you that you want to go for on a budget it's, it's actually very possible to live soft life on a budget so people want to live soft life you want to keep up with the joneses you want to be where everybody is and you find yourself broke because you don't have your basic needs so yeah going to be talking about what to do when you always feel broke ways that you can get out of this space of constantly feeling broke or constantly being broke not just feeling broke change your mindset i feel like mindset is everything and it's very possible that maybe because you've been broke or you're always broke you've just you've kind of accepted it you have a mindset mindset of lack instead of a mindset of abundance just change your mindset change your mindset about money i know people that are scared of talking about money they're literally scared of the thought 
of money self scares them it's like they don't want to think about it you're literally scared to open your bank account if you really want to reach your financial goal you should, that is something that you should be ready to face you should be ready to learn about basically educate yourself about your finances if it means to read books listen to podcasts watch videos for me is listening to podcasts and watching videos basically educate yourself if you're trying to get into investing stock markets all of that just educate yourself about it and you find out that your mindset literally changes if we're going to be honest not everybody's going to be rich in this world <laughs> some people are just going to be okay some people are going to be rich some people are going to be wealthy some people are going to be very very rich it's everybody it's not everybody's calling to be rich but i feel like you can just get to a point where you are you have a good relationship with money and you're somewhat comfortable here so the second way you can improve this is to increase your sources of income so now if you have one source of income and you feel like oh maybe this source of income doesn't do it for you or it's not okay for you maybe you should look at other things that's why i always advise people in their 20s or even before their 20s to always learn something like something hand work so even if you're doing a nine to five you can be doing something else or maybe sell something i'm just this is optional this is not because i know people that say oh business is not their thing it doesn't even have to be business just try and increase your source of income it could be anything literally it could even be drop shipping that you don't you don't even have to put so much work into it you just check your store once in a while so yeah if so if you like to spend money maybe you should think of making more money so instead of saying oh like i spent too much money i need to cut down on my spending it should be oh okay since i like to spend money like how can i make more money in a way that i don't have to cut down my spending but then i'll have more to save okay yeah. you need to have financial goals have financial goals and be consistent with it basically have a why why am i improving my financial habits because i want to attain financial freedom and financial success why am i saving this money because i want to buy a car i want to buy a house i want to do this i want to buy a new phone so you have a why and be consistent with it something that will make you be consistent if it means like using all these saving apps that will literally automatically remove your money from your account yeah i feel like that would work well or you just make it a goal the same way you remove your tithe for every like income that you get make it like a goal to remove money that you're going to put in your savings or investing as maybe your contribution to the wedding or something trust me nine out of ten times people will not be mad at you i can't afford it you know, i should be 50k i can't afford 50k i have 20k just this is my contribution to you yes. to invest as opposed to saving i understand saving yes saving for rainy days instead of me personally i don't i won't say i don't save because i'll be lying but then i don't like put so much thought into my savings because the saving platform that i even use is, is almost like investing yeah it's almost like you're investing your money because it's not like bank that you put your money there and when you're going out the money is probably less than what you put in it except like you're using fixed deposit or whatever yeah so if you're going to save i feel like you should always save in something that you know you get interest yeah if at all you have to save so that i feel like investing is more financially wise like is there a word like that <laughs> yeah it's, it's more reasonable to invest as opposed to saving so invest in something that you know that your money is working for you so basically strategically placing your money in different places or in a place or in two places that you know that your money is working for you you know that when you're going to remove your money is more it could be in a business it could be in the stock stock market i don't really i'm learning about the stock market and i just recently like got into the stock market so i'm not going to talk about it yet, yet until i know what i'm doing and i'm sure what you're doing and when it comes to investing i don't think you should put your money in something that you don't understand at least even if you're not the one doing it or just at least understand it yeah when you know that your money is invested it kind of reduces that feeling of being broke like it reduces that feeling of i don't have money because you know that you have money somewhere that is working for you yeah next reason is to prioritize paying your debts prioritize it if you have debts anytime i find myself in anything debt related even if like i don't borrow money from somebody maybe um i buy something from somewhere and maybe they didn't have change or something or something just makes me get into a space where somebody's one is with me or you're in a situation where um 
I don't want to buy something and somebody's like no take it I'm like I don't have the money they're like take it take it don't worry <laughs> you can pay me later you know this kind of people whenever I'm in that situation like whenever I get the money that is like my first goal the first thing I do is paying the money so quotes I live by do you know that if you sit down and you know that you don't have any money but you're debt free you're richer than somebody that has money in their bank accounts but they they are owing 10,000 people trust me you're richer than that person so don't worry about it prioritize debt anytime you have debt I feel like one of the goals should be paying that paying off that debt and here the final final step you can take towards this is to have a financial plan have a why this also has to do with changing your mindset but yeah just have a financial plan take little steps towards these goals that will help you get to your financial plan so yeah we've come to the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video of course i'm not where i want to be yet i'm still learning even some of these habits i listed i still struggle with some of them but then we're all working on ourselves and yeah i thought i should share with you guys please let me know if you guys like this series about talking about money and i have a lot of ideas for videos like but of course that would depend on you people's feedback or you people's response to me so yeah thank you guys so much for watching today if there's any points that i didn't list that has helped you please leave it below it might help somebody it might help me you don't know and if there's any step that you know would also like help to get out of this or any bad habits that you know just leave them all in the comment section below and yeah i'll be waiting to chat with you guys in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video bye that so. i'm a lagos based basically strategically 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 strategically